Hey guys, it's uh, Johnny Kinsvider here, and uh, this is actually going to be my first uh, official video um, on this channel. Um, I wasn't planning on, you know, making my first video like this. Uh, I wasn't actually going to make a video about this at all. I actually had dinner plans and shit tonight, but uh, that obviously didn't happen. But no, uh, I've actually been to a couple shows. Like just last week, I went and saw Scorpions of Mega Death, and then I saw Jared Neiman on Friday and stuff like that. So I was actually going to try to shoot one of those and make one of those my first uh, videos but that uh, that didn't happen and I didn't want to make this my first video but at the same time I felt like I have to make this video because I feel like I have to talk about it because I feel like it's important and I feel like we need to talk about it so here we go you saw the headline or the the title of this video so you know what it's about um, so I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about my day uh, I went to bed. I passed out last night, probably around like 10. Uh, I woke up at like 2.30 for uh, whatever reason, you know, I just woke up, you know, just randomly. Sometimes I'll wake up throughout the night, and I'd gotten a text from uh, one of my best friends about two hours before. Uh, he sent me a text at about midnight, 12.30ish, uh, and it was just kind of like one of those dude turn on the TV kind of texts, and... Um, so at 2.30 when I woke up, I did. I started going through Facebook, checking all the news, and uh, it was breaking what had uh, happened last night at the Route 91 Harvest Festival in Las Vegas, Nevada. And um, uh, right when I... I've pretty much been up since uh, 2.30 watching this thing develop. I took a little bit of a nap before I went to work, but that was it. Um, I was kind of glued, you know, to my phone watching the new updates uh, come in and stuff just because this really hit home for me and it, it really kind of fucked me up uh, pretty much all day I've watched uh, from 2.30 this morning I've watched the death toll climb from 2 to uh, now we're at uh, 59 um, and they said that that could rise uh, the first um, number that I heard for wounded was about a hundred and uh, now that number is over 500 so throughout the day, it's kind of developed, uh, you know, I've seen it go from 2 to 20 to 50, and now we're at 59, and we're over at 500 plus um, injured. So it, it's it's just, you know, throughout the day, I've been glued to the TV at work. I was in the break room watching all the breaking news come in, and I don't know what it is about this, man, but it's just really fucking me up. This shit's just really hit home, you know, I through looking back through different Facebook stuff and talking to my friends. Uh, I, I kind of remembered, came to me today too, and you know we were kind of talking about it. This is actually a festival that we talked about going to. Uh, we ended up going to Moonstock instead, uh, but me and one of our other friends actually, we were, you know, we we looked into this. We talked about it because I shared the post on uh, the Facebook page and all that, and thought you know it'd be a cool, fun Vegas trip, country music festival, you know things like that. But it didn't pan out. We we didn't end up going. So I don't know if it's that or um, uh, classic rock's obviously my favorite, um, but country music is a close second. I've been raised around country music. I grew up going to Frontier Days. I, uh, the Grizzly Rose, my favorite bar. I go there at least once a month. Just the other night, just Friday night. Um, I, we went to the Grizzly Rose and saw Jared Neiman. Neiman. I was just at a country show just the other night. Uh, this shit, it's it just hit really close to home for me, more so than the Eagles of Death Metal or more so than Ariana Grande, which both affected me, but this just has like a new effect on me. Like I've been feeling sick all day about it, man. I haven't been able to eat. You know, I'm not going to probably be able to sleep tonight. I shed a couple tears this morning, and I didn't even know anyone there. I wasn't there. You know, I have no relation to this except for the fact that going to music festivals and concerts is pretty much my life. And once again, um, that you know that that escape that we find there was, you know, violated and shit. Now, more than ever, we're gonna you know this we're we're gonna take a hit. You know, it's gonna be hard to go to these things without looking over your shoulders and you know. But we gotta keep doing it. We can't. We can't let this kind of evil win. We have to, we have, we got to show them that they can't fucking win. No matter, you know, this wasn't, they said this had no ties to international terrorism, but this was still terrorism because terrorism is inflicting terror. And that's what they did because now thousands of fucking people are never going to go to concerts again. Uh, the, there was 22,000 people in that crowd. Luckily, um, and I say luckily with all respect, uh, cause 
several, uh, you know, tens of people did lose their lives. Hundreds of people's lives are never going to be the same again. Actually, thousands of people's lives are never going to be the same again. Um, but, you know, I mean, I, I, sorry, I, I forgot where I was going. This, I, I've been kind of thinking about making this video all day. I was kind of thinking about some of the other stuff that I was going to talk about, uh, trying to plan it out, but I just couldn't. My fucking brain's a mess right now, so... I don't even really know what I'm trying to say. I don't know what the point of this video is. I just felt like it needed talked about, so that's what I'm doing. But yeah, man, we we can't we we can't let uh, this shit stop us from what we love doing. We got to keep doing it. We got to make sure that it's going to be safe. You know, whatever the venues got to do, whatever the police got to do, we got to step it up. And the response last night was phenomenal. Uh, the silver lining of all these situations, whether it's hurricanes. Um, down south or whether it's a mass shooting like this um terrible tragic events like this do bring out the best in people and i've heard so many amazing stories um last night and that truly to me is a silver lining of acts of hate like this is because it brings out the love in all of us and love well prevail um it always does you know just because uh, some asshole took it upon himself to um ruin people's lives take people's lives um these people we're out having a good time. You know, this is their escape. Um, not only were they having a good time, not only was this their escape, but this, you know, like I said, we talked about going to this festival. We looked into it. This is a big festival. It's a big trip for a lot of people. People spent thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars on their hard-earned money to go this, to go to this event. And uh, some asshole had to take it all away. And it's never going to be the same uh, for a lot of people, even me. And I wasn't, I wasn't even there, but this kind of shit affects everyone and uh it's it's getting too regular something does need to be done i'm not here to talk politics that shit needs to stay out of this conversation for the time being we just need to focus on the victims and we need to keep sharing these stories about uh about the response last night um like i said could have been a whole lot worse um but because of the uh the strong folks that were there um we did lose 59 people, um, but, you know, the love came out, man. I, you see all these videos of people laying on top of other people, people dragging people out of there, uh, people going across the street to a construction site, getting wheelbarrows and putting people in wheelbarrows and running them down the street to the hospital, people using, opening up their own cars, using their cars as ambulances, uh, just the, between, you know, the, the people there taking control to the uh, SWAT team blowing in the door to the paramedics to the to the cops to everybody that was on scene um, the way that the events folded out this went the best that it possibly could have and um, we have to be thankful for that because honestly 22,000 people and that little of crowd with um, what are believed to be fully automatic weapons this uh, could have been a lot worse and uh, so we have to be thankful for that and we have to continue to see the silver lining and everything we know there's a plan and uh, this is all part of it and we're you know trying to figure out figure out where to go from here but we will you know we'll get past this and uh, this shit ain't gonna this shit ain't gonna stop us it's gonna slow us down a little bit it's gonna be a bump in the road but just so much strength exhibited and shown by everyone uh, involved with this thing from you know like I already stated everyone there but from also the uh, the 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 people on stage i mean jason aldean was in the middle of a song uh jake owen luke holmes and uh, chris young were actually on that stage too thankfully they all escaped unharmed like i said so many others were not as lucky but um you know and they're, they're coming through this morning that they're, they're talking about it the whole country music community the whole music industry the whole country has pretty much come together and we've shared our thoughts and um, we've sent our best wishes, and it's it's cool because in times like this when we're so fucked up, we're fighting about uh, whether or not you should stand for the national anthem, we're fighting about uh, so much other different shit that's going on, but we put that away for a sec. I saw a couple political posts, um, but that shit doesn't need to be uh, talked about right now. Uh, what needs to be talked about is you know, us coming together. I saw a video on the news today of a blood bank in Las Vegas that had a line, I guess it was eight hours long. And, you know, GoFundMe pages are getting set up for victims that are already raking in money. You know, people care, and this really brings out the best in all of us, as fucked up and horrible as it is. Um, there's silver lining in every tragedy, and uh, we will continue to ride that silver lining 
um, as this goes on, as the story develops, as we continue to deal with this. Like I said, pieces of the story are, are still breaking right now. We're almost 24 hours later. And uh, so, yeah, it's 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 going to be tough, but we'll overcome this. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get back. You know, they can't take away what we love doing. And I know I'm not the only one that wasn't there, didn't even know anyone there that's being affected like this. You know, it's... It's, it's fucking a lot of people up. It's one of those safe spaces. It's not, you know, it's like the school shootings or the movie theaters or the malls. It's the places that you, you're not in a battlefield. You shouldn't have to be worried about it. But in the society that we lived in, we are. And uh, that, that really needs to change. We need to be able to get back into our comfort zone. And uh, Like I said, there I really had no message here. There's really no point to all this. I just kind of had to get some thoughts out. Um, because my mind's been going crazy. And... Uh, yeah, we need to talk about it. I needed to talk about it, and so this is my way of doing that. Sorry for making this um, my first video. So another thing that I wanted to touch on, and the reports are still in the air. Um, nothing's been confirmed as of yet, but, uh, well, it was confirmed earlier today. This is unrelated from the Las Vegas incident. It was confirmed earlier today, um, but then retracted that Tom Petty had passed away. So as of right now, the word is that he is still with us. Um, but it's not looking good. Uh, he had gone into full cardiac arrest last night and went into the hospital and supposedly on life support, um, was pulled off life support and had zero brain activity. Um, CBS News broke the news that he was no longer with us, but uh, very quickly retracted that. Uh, but after several other bigger news sources had, always, had already ran with the fact that he died, um, so it's looking like that he probably will. Um, but we're hoping for the best. Uh, iconic music legend, uh, if things do turn for the worse, and I'll probably make a video about that too. I uh, really hope I don't have to fucking do that. My first two uh, videos being about horrible shit. But this has just been a bad couple of days for the music, m music industry, for the live music industry, for the community, for all this. But we'll get through this. So we just need to band together and do it. And so, yeah, there's, I'm not going to do any plugs on this video because it would be kind of fucked up to do plugs on this video. But, yeah, there you go. Next time there's something to talk about, I'll talk about it. So, thanks for listening. Until next time. Bye.